In this session of Ableton Live, I have 10 separate clips, and when I play them all together, they form a very dense mix. So I'm going to show you how to use the crossfader to AB between these clips DJ style. Let's listen. Okay, so let's get to work. Right underneath the master fader, you'll see a crossfade icon right there. When I click on it, it inactivates. Then underneath each channel, I see A, B, A, B. If you don't, go to the view menu and make sure that crossfader is checked on. See it down there? Right there. Now that we've done that, we are going to go through each one of these channels and assign the outputs to either A or B. And it doesn't really matter how you do it. It's just start doing it. I'm going to put these to A. And why don't I go B on these? Now when I play the track and move my crossfader, I'm going to get the differences. And the screen resolution is not going to track the crossfader, so don't worry about that. Okay, so that's pretty simple. On the fly, I can change the elements. Remember, if it's unassigned, it means it plays in both A and B. So just changing on the fly, and now we go back. And I can change them again on the fly. Here we go. Very cool. So that's the crossfader in Ableton.